Welcome to Bible Bedtime Children. The Bible Story of Moses and the Burning Bush Moses was born to Israelite parents in the land of Egypt. He was taken as the son of Pharaoh's daughter after she rescued him from a river. When he grew up, he saw that his people, the Israelites, were treated very badly by the Egyptians. This made Moses very angry, so angry that one day he ended up taking the life of an Egyptian for beating an Israelite. When Pharaoh found out what Moses had done, Moses had to leave Egypt immediately. When he left Egypt, he came across seven sisters from Midian that were at a well getting water to feed their father's flock. They were being driven away by shepherds who wanted to water their flocks first. When Moses saw what the shepherds were doing to the women, he came to the rescue of the sisters and helped them get water for their flocks. Moses did not like to see people being treated badly. He had a lot of compassion to help them and was very brave. When the women's father heard how Moses helped them, he invited Moses to come eat and stay with them. Moses accepted and came to their home. He stayed with them and ended up marrying one of his daughters named Zipporah. Over time, life of the Israelites became more difficult in Egypt. God heard their cries and wanted to send help for them. One day, Moses was taking care of his father-in-law's sheep when he was led into the desert behind a mountain of God called Horeb. While there, an angel of the Lord appeared to Moses in a flaming fire on a bush. When Moses looked at the bush, he saw that the fire did not burn the leaves. This amazed Moses. Suddenly, he heard the Lord called his name. Moses. Moses, Moses answered, Here I am. Then God said, Take off your sandals. The place where you stand is holy ground. I have seen the pain of my people in Egypt and have heard their cry. I have come down to help them and will bring them into a land flowing with milk and honey. I will send you to Pharaoh so that he can let my people go. Moses listened and said, who, who, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? God said, I will be with you. Moses said, Who, who shall I say sent me? 
God answered, I am who I am. You shall say to them, I am has sent you. This is my name forever. You shall get all the leaders of Israel together and go to Pharaoh. I will show great signs and wonders in Egypt for Pharaoh to let my people go. Moses said, Suppose the people will not believe me or listen to me. God answered, What is that in your hand? Moses said, A rod. God said, Take the rod and throw it to the ground. When Moses threw the rod to the ground, it became a serpent and Moses fled from it. God then said, Take your hand and pick it up by the tail. Moses picked it up and it turned back into a rod. He said to Moses, Now put your hands in your chest, then take it out. When he took it out, it became white like snow. God then said, Now put your hand in your chest again. And when he did, his hand returned back to normal flesh. If they do not believe you with these two signs, then you shall take water from the river and put it on the ground and it will turn to blood. Moses heard God, but responded, I I am not a good speaker. My speech is very slow. God told Moses, I will be with you. But Moses was still a little afraid. God told him, I will send you with your brother Aaron to speak for you. I will teach you what to say to him and you will tell him. I will be with both of you. Now go, take your rod and perform the signs and wonders that I will show you. Moses obeyed God and went to do just as God told him in the land of Egypt. He met with his brother Aaron and took his wife and children to set out to go to the land of Egypt. The story of Moses and the burning bush. Stay tuned for the next video as we continue with the story of Moses in the land of Egypt and all the signs and wonders God did to free the Israelites from Pharaoh in the story of Moses and the ten plagues. God's blessings to you and your family always. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.